We're at the very highest point in the village right now. Now I know a lot of you just want to see puppies, so we're going to go right to our puppy report and I'll be back with a little more about this place at the end. Today's a much warmer day here in New York, so we're going to check in on Apple and Jamba along with our males. I saw some comments on the last video asking where we kept our males. Um, we can't really keep them together all of the time because when the, a female goes into season, the boys go crazy and it, there's no rest in the house. So my mom and I keep the boys that we like and then my grandparents like to keep the girls. So over there we have Dylan. He just turned 10 years old. He is still heart clear, which is great for Cavaliers. His son Mulligan just went up there and there's Hubble as well. Hi boy! They're just chilling. We're currently trying to renovate our house, so pardon the mess. And then of course everybody knows little Miss Apple! Hi puppy! How are you? She's doing very well here at my house right now while my grandparents are away. Her and Jamba have a great time playing. And there's Jamba. Sniffing away. Jamba! Jamba, come here! Come here, Jamba! Jamba, come! He's like, no, I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather sniff. But Apple is just chilling. Oh, that cute little baby. Now these two really like to play together in the backyard and play a game of keep away. Apple usually gets it and Jamba chases after her. But I guess they don't care. Apple likes to think she runs this house. Meanwhile, she's the smallest little one. Ain't that right, ma'am? Not much to report today, but I hope you enjoyed the little puppy fix that we had. Say bye bye, Apple. She's just gonna go play with her little gingerbread man. This is the um, ancient village of Ez in the south of France. Uh, it was first settled, uh, I believe, around uh, 2000 BC. So it goes back quite a ways and became part of France uh, not until 1860 that the residents voted to become part of the, uh, the nation of France. Uh, this is the highest point. Up here you'll see is the uh, ruins of a 12th century castle that was a fortification for the village. Uh, we'll just pan around a little bit and get a taste for some of the walls of the castle. And this castle stood as a fortification until it was destroyed by Louis XIV, uh, I think in the 18th century. And despite its turbulent political past, it's very peaceful in as now. Beautiful little pathways that line the village, going very much up and down. Originally were built for donkeys to bring supplies to the inhabitants of the village. Now you'll see hotel workers bringing... Uh, food and fresh linens up to the hotels. You'll see quite a few tourists walking through the village and uh, taking time to stop in some of the shops that line the pathways. A lot of uh, people have decided to stay here in the past. Nietzsche was said to stay here and do a lot of his work. Walt Disney did some of his animations here originally. And it's believed that he inspired some others to take some of the dwellings here and turn them into hotel rooms, which are now very popular. At the base of these paths, you'll see a double gateway, which is the only entrance into the village, which is always on foot, and was originally fortified for protection. As is situated 1,400 feet above sea level, so you get some amazing views. On the other side of that cliff is Monaco. Beautiful views of the Mediterranean, and you can see all the way to Nice on the other side. So that's it from the south of France for today, and we'll have another puppy report soon.